Following recent concerns about the inadequacy of food items in the more than 600 um, second cycle schools in the country, we've made attempts to reach the Conference of Heads of Assisted Second uh, Secondary Schools, that is CHAS. We have been unsuccessful, but we have come to the National Food Buffer Store Company Limited. Uh, the chief executive is Hanan Abdul Wahab. Alhaji Hanan Abdul Wahab, we've been picking his reactions to the concerns of the inadequacy of food in the schools. Mm, supplies are ongoing, and, and mind, mind you, most of the food items are actually leaving from the capital Accra to you know um, other parts of the country. And for example, some of the food items would have to move from Tema to Bolaga to Navrongo, you know, to Wa, Asan Krigwa, and other places so they are on transit um schools i have just uh, been you know um, reopened and uh, suppliers and uh, all over uh, moving towards the schools to do the supplies could this have happened before i mean a few days to reopening so that there wouldn't be the <coughs> exactly ideally what we're supposed to do is to make sure that um, food goes to the school before um, students report, but some of the food have actually got into the schools um, somewhere last week before students started um, uh, reporting. But of course, you know, we are not also in normal times and we have to do fumigation of um, the classrooms, the dormitories and the kitchen because of the, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic. So all this will have to be done and giving some space of time before we can, you know, um, bring in food. For example, you know, with the warehousing, uh, you cannot just do fumigation and start receiving food. You have to, you know, let it stay for some. Is it that the vacation wasn't enough break for that to be done? You know, <clears throat> the reality is that um, <clears throat> there were some section of students in school uh, who um, the last academic year just ended uh, last week. Okay. It has been difficult getting to know the debt government owes suppliers through the National Food Buffer Store Company Limited in this interview with its uh, chief executive Al Hadi Hanan Abdul Wahab. But what we have gathered from our sources indicated that government owes suppliers in excess of more than 250 um, million Ghana cities. Al Hadi is upbeat that in the coming years it will be able to supply schools on time. 2020, where, where, uh, 2020 academic year, we're looking about a million, um, a million and half, a million and one, uh, 1 1.1 million students enjoying the free senior high school program. But this year, we are actually looking about um, 1.3 million or so or more who would be um, enjoying the free senior high school. That is year one, year two, and then year three. So are we adequately resourced to take care of their nutritional needs throughout the academic year? We have, you know, gained the experience um, over, the, over, the, over the year. So we are adequately prepared to, to deal with uh, the numbers that will be coming in the coming days after our, 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 our admissions are, are, are done. And in terms of nutrition, of course, uh, we have been very, you know, um, key in making sure that the right quantity and quality is delivered. We have a whole food safety department that are working, you know, uh, very hard to make sure that um, they do, you know, audit all these food items before they go to school. We've come to Laboni Senior High School at Cantonment here in Accra. We've been unsuccessful getting authorities to speak to us uh, with respect to uh, supply of food items. What we have gathered unofficially though is that school just resumed and that they have enough um, to get by and that they are looking forward to more supplies as um, the academic calendar unfolds. So there is not a situation of uh, inadequacy of food. Rather what we gathered from um, some of uh, the students is that um, uh, bread, for example, has been replaced with granites. So they used to have bread with cocoa for breakfast at 8.30, but it has been replaced with granites. So between 8.30, the next time they have their meals is lunch, which is 1 o'clock. And so they feel that uh, without the bread, it's not heavy enough. We've come to Forces Senior High Technical School at Bema Camp. 
the authorities tell us that everything is under control. There are students, like many, resumed school yesterday, last night. They had dinner, they've had breakfast and lunch today, and they will have supper. They tell us that, uh, as has always been the case, when they are about when their stock is about being depleted, they will let the uh, national buffer stock, and then they will restock their their food for them. And so they are confident that, as has been the case, it will remain same. They, however, uh, ask us to express their uh, confidence in the government that for their dining hall complex that is 90 percent complete they are confident the government will see to its speedy completion as the academic year unfolds the ceo of the national food buffer stock has been assuring parents and all stakeholders that there will be enough food throughout the academic year trucks are on their way coming suppliers are all over you know uh, crisscrossing to make sure that uh, Food are delivered um, <clears throat> at the at the right time. So I'm sure within 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 few days of this reopening, and every school will get the um, their required or requested quantities uh, needed. And just this morning, we have actually sent the total quantity of um, of rice uh, uh, needed for uh, uh, Saint uh, Saint John's. Senior high school in Greater Accra here is, uh, I think, uh, a little over a thousand. Uh, the supplier sent a thousand bags, but they yeah, are, uh, you know, storage constrained. So they have to take half of that and then move the other 500 bags of rice to another, another beneficiary school. For City News, I am Caleb Kuda.